Welcome to the Vion Podcast. Great to be here. Today, we're doing a deep dive into something pretty fundamental, uh, how fast we actually think. Yeah, there's some fascinating new research that's actually put a number on it. A number. Huh. Okay, I'm intrigued. What are we talking about? Well, this study, it came out of Caltech, suggests that our conscious brain processes information at, get this, only about 10 bits per second. 10 bits per second. That sounds incredibly slow. It really does, doesn't it? It's especially it, when you think about um, our senses. Right. Our eyes, our ears, they're taking in potentially gigabits of data constantly. Exactly. Gigabits. So you have this massive flood of sensory information hitting the brains. And consciousness is just sipping it through a tiny straw at 10 bits. That's the picture emerging. Marcus Meister, one of the researchers involved, called it extremely low. Hmm. So where does all that other information go? Is it just lost? Well, not necessarily lost, but it seems our conscious processing happens sequentially. It forms this uh, sort of slow, crowded queue in our mind. A queue? Yeah. Even with, you know, all the complexity we feel inside, our inner monologue, memories. Right. Even complex stuff they tested, like uh, solving a Rubik's Cube blindfolded or playing strategy video games. Still around that 10 bits mark? Pretty much. Maybe uh, just under 12 for the Rubik's Cube, but yeah, in that ballpark. Wow. So we have these brains with what, 85 billion neurons, trillions of connections. Massive processing power potential. But the conscious part is operating on dial-up speeds. Why? That's the million dollar question, really, this neural bottleneck. The researchers themselves, uh, Ji Zheng was the lead author. Okay. They suggest it might be evolutionary. Evolutionary, how so? Think about the world our ancestors navigated. Changes happen, but maybe not at the blink of an eye speed we sometimes imagine. So processing the crucial stuff at 10 bits per second was just enough, enough to survive. Potentially, yeah. They even suggest that maybe we only hit that 10 bits in, like worst case scenarios, often the world changes slower. Huh. It makes you think though about today's world. Information overload is real. It absolutely is. And it raises questions about things like, um, brain computer interfaces you mean even if we could directly pipe information in the brain's fundamental conscious processing speed might still be that bottleneck around 10 bits per second so our brains are incredibly complex but also surprisingly deliberate deliberate is a good word for it it definitely makes you wonder about how we perceive things how we filter how efficiently we actually use all that data absolutely fascinating stuff it changes how you think about well it's, thinking it really does Okay, that's all we have time for in this deep dive. Stay tuned to the Vion podcast for more such intriguing stories to come.